Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Targeted Individual Program, the Targeted Individual Experience. Uh, anyway, so just left, uh, Pam came home, of course engaging and, you know, subliminal message and shit like that. She stands up in front of me and, you know, she's wearing like a, what is that, like a light cream sweater. She literally like grabbed her boobs in front of me and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the heck, man? Bunch of pussies. Yeah, I see the prop. <laughs> Come walking up, staring at me in my face and looking over there at the, uh, what am he looking at the, the building? That building that's being, uh, that one right there. Ah. <laughs> All right, so the, why is, he, why is he looking at the building over there? Look at the windows. It has a big X on the window. <laughs> right? It has a big X on the window. You know? Like I said, these cult, man, these cult and these cult members are ridiculous. Look, 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 Red. Look, stand in front of the building. I see you, buddy. I see you, Red. <laughs> the red jacket again. Uh, I tell you. Uh, like I said, man, you know, <laughs> I'm the wrong one and the right one. Okay? I'm the wrong one. Let you mother effers decide you're going to do this too. But I'm the right one to expose you. Alright? And like I said, they feel very emboldened because when you have the public fooled through manipulation and through deception, you know, like I said, I, you know, the TI is from California that I talked to, you know, she's Japanese American. And she's like, she watched my video, she's like, you know, Nigel, you're absolutely right when you say that you can't believe that black people are engaging in this sort of behavior because, like you said, you know, uh, you know, black people in this country and across the world have been enslaved. We have been discriminated against. We have been marginalized. And particularly here in America, and she she was like, you know, it surprised me. I said, you know, well, you know, it used to surprise me at first, but until I learned about psychology, you know, particularly psychological manipulation, Stockholm syndrome, you know, cognitive dissonance, and also the fact that uh, we as a people were too, you know, when your enemy knows exactly who you are naturally as a group of people they can manipulate that right to their benefit okay well when we know who here's let me put it this way when you look at throughout history you look at the history of black people right who built great civilizations right who are the founders of all civilization on this planet all of it okay and how we taught the world, we civilized the world. And here comes a group of people from Europe called Caucasians. And you know who we gave them their education, gave them their civilization. And what have they always done? What have they shown us? But yet somehow we still we still tend to overlook their behavior towards us, right? We still, even to this day, overlook their destructive behavior towards us. Even when we're finding out what's, what's happening. Even when, again, they treat us how they feel, you know. They show us how they feel about us by the way they treat us. As simple as that, okay? And you have to ask yourself why. And I know why. You know, that's why I don't ask the question why anymore. I don't ask why, I don't I don't do that anymore, because I know. Right? That's why I said belief is something that has poisoned our minds, that has taken the uh, for the majority of us that have taken away our, our sensibility, our common sense. 
this is why they can manipulate us in any hand. Because when we, when we believe and we don't know. When they are developing technologies, they're far ahead of developing technologies that we, that, that you know, if you talk to any uh, uh, black person out there, they don't believe these things exist, right? <laughs> they don't believe these things exist at all, right? Remember in the 1990s watching the movie, was The Terminator 2? You know, uh, again, a movie that, again, written by a black woman who they stole her work from. Again, they, they have not, they, they, they haven't done anything that they haven't done before. You know, stealing the works of black people and profiting from it, right? Stealing wages from us by paying us low wages, making us work extra hours just so, you know, we can somewhat survive, right? I mean, you know, when are we going to get it as a people? When are we going to get it? I, I, I don't you know. It's a, it's, a, it's a good question, but, you know, when you understand the uphill battle we have, right, we have to start educating our kids to be highly uh, intelligent and not just smart. Talk to you guys in the next video.